Yo, what's good? What's good? Oh my goodness. I have seen the EBTs in a box. I feel sorry for the kids. Who has to eat that? Who has to eat that stuff? I seen it on World Star when a chick was complaining about she got her EBT was cut. Now your food is coming in a box. You gotta make that shit last for the entire month. Now all she has to get out and go. <laughs> I don't know what she's gonna do. She gotta get out and go go find a job. Gotta get out and go work. For real, I'm like, yo. I'm looking at it. I was like, God damn. They wasn't kidding. The chick is fucking complaining. I mean, look. You're mooching off us, us taxpayers. We know white. We know poor white families is on it. Hispanics is on it. Blacks is on it. You see very little Chinese. I mean, Asians and Indians on it. Because they got family. They got family values. And you don't really see that shit. I seen that food. I like, whoo. I mean, it's not perishable. Put it up in a fucking, it requires to be refrigerated. Put it up in the refrigerator. Maybe right there in the refrigerator for a while. It's vacuum sealed. It ain't going to go, it ain't going to fucking... All right, can I get gasoline later? Well, we're going to go to the gym. Um, it's like, I'm like, I'm looking at it like, yo. If they gave that shit to, the, to us in the military, we'll make something out of it. We'll make something out of it. But a shit, if I was that chick, you better get to know somebody who's in the fucking military. Army, Marines, Air Force, Navy. Get somebody got MREs. Or go online and buy a fucking three month supply of MREs. If you don't like that food, that the government food that you don't want to eat, please bring back the government cheese. That big block of government cheese. Yes, I am waiting for that to come back. Please come back. Fucking stupid old me forgot to fucking put out my trash. Damn. Oh no, yesterday was a holiday. Just realized that. Yes, please bring back the government cheese. So anyways, I don't know what these chicks are going to do, but as the chick on, what's it, on, on YouTube, Tasha TV, definitely check that out. I mean, they, they have some key pointers right there that food stamps in Section 8, Section 8 should be temporary for those who lost their job and stuff, get back on your feet, help you out with the kids whatsoever, not a fucking abuse it, and not go to work, you a fucking able body, you're able to go to work, damn, these motherfuckers that fucking salt the damn street, if you're an able body, you're able to go to work, now, the food stamps, I always said this before, the food stamps and shit. The welfare and all that other stuff should go to the elderly who did their time, who worked, and everything else. And and the veterans, war veterans and stuff who had a hard time with you know what I'm saying did did they war time got PTSD it's kinda hard for them to go out and go find work and it's kinda hard for them to go feed themselves. Full stamps, the EBTs is coming into a box. I'm 
don't worry, girl. Your rent, I mean, your rent is probably going to get paid or might not get paid. But those who got the remaining food stamps, who got them for January, you got to make that shit stretch till March. If you got your remaining food stamps on your EBT, on your Snaps card, whatever, you got to make that shit last through February. Because that's it. They cut that shit. No more funding. It's like it's like whatever's left. It it's all it is. I mean the government shut down, hey. <laughs> Get that motherfucker's wall. Let him build his wall. <clears throat> I mean I don't blame the man, but hey, let him get his wall. Let him build it. Fuck it. But hey, it's pushing and shoving and stuff. People are like, no, no, no. You can't do this. You can't do that. All right, that's cool. You want me to let me build my damn wall? Give me the money for it? All right. Ain't none of y'all taking government flights. And you ain't using no fucking government aircrafts. You're not using no government vehicles to, to troll around and whatever. You're not using the government credit cards or buy gas. The answer is no. Use your personally owned vehicles. <sighs> so, yo, that food, yo, know, EBT food in a box, man, I seen that shit. It's like now they're gonna go down to the, they're gonna tell them, hey, you gotta go down to the Salvation Army, or down to the nearest church or the food bank. Pick out your foods, whatsoever, whatever is whatever is allowed, and that's what you get for you and your kids to hold you down for the entire month. You know, or they probably tell them, "Okay, hey, come back every week and pick out to get your foods and stuff." Every Friday, every every Friday, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come down get your foods for the remainder of the week, and that's what you get. Females, oh man, I can see it now. I better, shit, I better be prepared for fucking home invasions. Motherfuckers gonna be hungry too. They will come out. They will not. I mean, yeah, they're gonna fucking privilege and, and rob other people, or other hardworking people for their food. Yeah, shit. Yeah, remember the fucking. The Walking Dead, how they gotta break into other homes just to get food, just to feed themselves. That's how that's just gonna be. And you single men who don't have kids, avoid single mothers. Avoid them. Especially if they mooching off the system and they got kicked off. Avoid them at all cost. Get fucking repellent. <laughs> I would say get single mother repellent and stuff. It doesn't matter. How oh man, she's a bad chick. She got a nice body and all that stuff. No, 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 no. That shit's paid for. She went to get that shit done so she can go out and get herself a man that has a good job, a nice home, stability for her and the kids to stay at. Because she might get evicted out of her own apartment or house, big, luxurious house out in the suburbs. And she won't need a man to go and it's going to accept her and take in all her kids. All her fucking kids. Maybe if it was just one kid and the dude said, all right, I can work with it. But you got, nah, fuck. Well, depends on the situation. If the woman's divorced after 15 years and the kid's already grown, fine. Dude, I mean, one her two kids is done by the same man. Fine, deal with it. I mean, I would. I got three kids. I'm putting two through college, and one is in high, almost in high school, and he's thinking about going into the military. And I tell chicks, I tell single mothers like this: y'all on the system and shit, y'all can fucking complaining. And I tell them this: like, yo, food stamps don't cover, don't fucking pay for my daughter's tuition and books. Y'all get that shit on the regular. I have to go out and bust my ass and make sure my girls go to college. 
Now, I gotta put my new, uh, my, my dream truck, I gotta put that on hold because my daughter's graduating this year and um, she wants a, she wants a new car. So I'm asking her what she likes. My mother telling me, "Yo, get her what, get her this." I'm like, "No, nah, no, nah, I'm not getting, I'm not getting what you, getting her what you like. I'm gonna ask her what she wants, what she, what vehicle she like to be in." Yo, it's crazy, man. So I remember, no more driving around in expensive Cadillacs, no more fucking steak and lobster. Now it's fucking box lunch, in a box. Gotta make that shit last. If it's if enough for you and your kids, fine. It's gonna be two boxes. If it's gonna be just for you and your kid or your babies, you'll see it. They give you a list. They're gonna make sure. Twelve billion dollars a year. Whew. That money could go to somewhere else. You know, somewhere else. Let me cut this car off. So y'all. Think about it. Definitely going world star. Hit, you know what I'm saying? Look up for, you know, uh, this chick who just got her boxed EBT. You know what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm looking at her like, damn, Trump is doing it up. It's like shopping in, it's like shopping in the supermarket. You got $20. And out of those $20, you're able to get the, uh, go to the no frill shit and go get the uh the the non name brand stuff that's in a white box with blue letters you know and it's like mommy mommy i want i want soda and it's like and she'd be like shit you got 20 dollars what can i make out of 20 dollars all right let's go to the no frill section get a in other words it's like shopping in dollar tree with 20 dollars with 20 dollars at dollar tree i can get like shit I can get like two bags of food. You know what I'm saying? Soda too. Shit, three liter sodas for like a three liter sodas. Shit, you gotta make that money stretch. Cause just like the over the weekend, I was getting cash app hit ups. Cash app hit ups. From women that I had dealt with in the past and they found me on Cash App, I guess from, I guess they were, one of my relatives gave them my number. They found me up on Cash App, Cash App shit. I'm like, I'm looking like, hold up, why the fuck? And I hit the person back like, uh, who are you? And it's like, oh, can you help me out? Cause uh, my daughter needs this. I'm like, oh, you asked me for $50? I'm like, you coming out the blue after, after five years later, I'm like, the fuck out of here. <clears throat> I'm getting, ca I mean, yo, it's going to be fucking wild. And for those guys, I know getting a chick, getting laid nowadays is hard because nowadays these chicks are selling pussy or they looking for men that got money. So they don't have to worry about giving up no ass or nothing. Sooner or later, they may have to give that shit up for free. Because they need a roof over their head and a place to sleep. And hot water so they can wash their hair. Or wash their stinking asses. So, y'all, I'm Ricky Tice. Video's going on to 15 minutes. I gotta, get, I gotta get myself ready for the gym. And watch some TV. I'll keep y'all updated. Peace.